More labor questions at Oshkosh Corporation. The company wants to open up contract talks with the union to try to win a defense contract. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oshkosh Corporation says it has to cut costs in order to beat out competitors for the bid. Yeah, that contract has a long time to go. The company sent a letter to its union's bargaining committee today about what the company says it needs to do now. Fox 11's Chad Doran joins us now live from our Valley Newsroom. Chad, you have a copy of the letter, and uh, so what's the company requesting? Well, Tom Oshkosh Corporation officials say this letter is not a demand, but rather an invitation. The goal, they say, is to extend the current contract with UAW Local 578 by an additional five years. That, company officials say, would give Oshkosh Corporation a competitive edge in winning a contract for roughly 55,000 vehicles that could be worth more than $13 billion. The company outlines four of what it calls discussion points in the letter. The company spokesperson tells Fox 11 the company wants to negotiate a contract extension to lower its cost structure. Oshkosh Defense is bidding against two other contractors for the right to build the joint light tactical vehicle for the Army and Marine Corps. The three companies are currently in the engineering and manufacturing development phase. The military is expected to award the contracts for limited production of the JLTV in late 2015 or early 2016. Production would start later in 2016, about the time the current five-year contract between Oshkosh and UAW Local 578 would expire. In the letter to the union's bargaining committee, the company says contract talks in 2016 could be a distraction. The company also says contract uncertainty could hurt its chances at winning the JLTV contract. The letter outlines changes to health care, layoff language, and adding a new entry-level union production position. It also references wages but does not directly address any cuts. 800 workers are already being laid off from the company in 2013 as work on other military contracts winds down. The union is scheduled to vote Wednesday on whether to allow the union's bargaining committee to discuss a potential contract extension with the company. Regardless, the current contract will remain in place with no changes. Company officials say an extension would extend the contract to September of 2021 and preserve jobs in Oshkosh. Now, I spoke with the union president this afternoon. He did not want to comment today, but says the union will have a response after the vote is taken tomorrow. Now, the union is scheduled to meet to discuss the letter at the Oshkosh Convention Center at 2 o'clock, with a vote expected later in the afternoon. Live in the Fox Valley Newsroom, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News.